Good evening and welcome inside the GFL Memorial Gardens as we get ready for another edition of Ideal Optical Sioux Greyhounds Hockey on Rogers TV. Tonight, the Greyhounds welcome the Erie Otters into town and it's the first meeting between these two teams this season. Gibson bumped with his man and managed to get it to the blue line. Hayes shovels it out. And here comes Kluche. Three Greyhounds across the line. Kluche across ice pass. A shot. They score! Brady Martin with a wrister from the faceoff circle. And the Greyhounds take a one nothing lead. Well, great play by the Hounds to get the puck out of their zone and then create the three-on-one. And Justin Kluche held on to that puck for as long as he could. Slides it over to Brady Martin, and Martin snaps it high on the short side and beats the goaltender for Erie cleanly on that one. Kind of surprising somewhat, but Martin has a heavy shot, quick release, and when he gets that much time, he can uh, direct it where he wants it, and that's what he just did on that one. Pressure coming, and Vader, nice job to poke the puck loose. Dezoti's got a step on his man, got a break going in, and a nice save there by Erledin. Here they come again now, across the line, Alfano to Henry, going in with a shot, Schinkel makes a great save. Looks like we're gonna have a scrap here. Here we go. It's Bonus and Holomago. A couple of big boys, and Bonus throws a couple of right hands. Holomago comes back with a one. There's an uppercut. Oh, and Bonus connected with a couple there. There's another one, and down goes Olomego. As Sam Bonus caught him with a right hand there, and uh, Bonus is all fired up after that. As the Greyhounds try and clear it out, can't. Henry at the point winds up with a shot. Save made by Schenkel through traffic. Otters have some pressure going now. Here's Fraska into the slot area. Here's a chance, a shot at the goal post, and they score. Yeah, I think that went in off the post, Gino, and hit the back post like it was, up top, up I think, high. I think it was Davio that uh, let the shot go. Originally rang off the post, but it got in behind, and the Erie Otters tie the game and a turnover in the Greyhound zone. A slow start for you guys, obviously giving up the early goal, but a good pushback for the rest of the first period, and you guys get a tie through the first 20 minutes. Yeah, I feel like we started off a little slow, but the next two periods are going to be big ones. It was a big goal that Davs got to tie it up, so we're looking to come out hot. Honestly, I think just come out hard, play hard 40, play in their zone, and uh, yeah, just go to work. Kuche takes a return feed, dumps it off to Minosa. To Sadonet, there's a shot by Nord, and that's not rebound, they score! Noel Nord just went to the net and it squeezed in behind the goaltender Erledin, so the Greyhounds connect just as the Otters penalty had expired to the Greyhounds with a 2-1 to one lead. Great puck movement there by the Greyhounds, not uh, panicking and not getting too anxious. Gets it down low there, Mignosa to Nord, and he just slides it right through the legs. Yeah. Ellerton, and uh, I'm sure that yep. Otter's goalie wants that back, but there's the overhead look at it. As you see, he got a piece of it and couldn't just squeeze tight enough, so the Greyhounds back in the lead. Schaefer had to dump it into the corner. Greyhounds very aggressive on the penalty kill. Here's an intercepted clear out attempt. There's a shot, he scores! A blast by Dylan Edwards as the Greyhounds failed to clear it out. Carlisle had a Jim threw it up the middle. It was knocked down, and Dylan Edwards buries it, making the Greyhounds pay for that mistake, and we're tied at two. Edwards has had a good game tonight, had some opportunities, and that time he made the most of it. After the interception, Charlie Schenk a little out of position there, a little bit too far over on one side of the net, and Edwards uh, fires it home. Yeah, Caden Carlisle with the opportunity to get the puck out, but just didn't get it high enough when it was intercepted by Terrence. And nice speed over to Edwards, and it's a 2-2 uh, game. Get it out. Here's Fresca. 
Sending it ahead. Schaefer's got a break going right in on goal. Schaefer with a backhand. He scores. What a beauty there by Matthew Schaefer. And the Erie Otters take a 3-2 lead. Well, Gabriel Frasca with the little flip pass to Mr. Schaefer. And boy, did he put a great move with full speed. He goes in on Charlie Schenkel. And he shows why he is rated to go high in the NHL draft. He has the time to decide what he wants to do. And beautiful move there. <laughs> Yep. Schenkel just frozen. Yeah, just that hesitation there on the backhand, and uh, Schenkel tried to knock it off his stick with the goal stick, but that didn't work, and uh, Schaefer is pretty pumped as he puts the Otters ahead by a goal with 50 seconds left to go in this second period of play, Erie 3, and the Greyhounds 2. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a tight game, and I think we just got to get it in behind their D. That's the biggest thing. we got to play behind them I think that's how we're gonna create offense and scoring chances I mean if we score on this power play it should be good and just keep four checking their D I think take advantage of that knocked off the puck Otters can't clear though it goes to the other side Mignosa picks it up try to get it back to the point Otters still can't get it as it hits a stick and Nord makes a nice play to keep possession here's Mignosa to Martin with a shot he scores Brady Martin with a quick one-timer and the Greyhounds tie it at three. Well, great work by uh, Newell Nor to keep the puck in the eerie zone. And then the beautiful pass got across ice. I'm not sure if uh, Hillerton uh, got tied up with his own player or not. Just didn't get over. Didn't kind of see it, I guess. And uh, Brady Martin just fires it home. Yep. No chance for the Otters goaltender in that one. Now here's Hayes heading for the slot. Hayes with a shot save, rebound, and that one hits the side of the net as Erz just got a piece of it. All right, all set to go in the overtime as the Greyhounds win the draw on Gibson. We'll set things up. Gibson, Martin, and Hayes. The Greyhound unit out there. And here comes Martin across the line. That's a shot. He scores! Brady Martin ends it. Just quickly as he lets a shot go that seemed to change direction, Jim. And Martin gets his third goal of the night. And the Greyhounds win it by a score of 4-3. to three. Yeah, you got to feel bad for... Uh... Noah Eller, Ellerton is that was deflected off of Schaefer's stick and Martin coming in and just trying to fire it towards the net and it fluttered over Ellerton for the uh, game winning goal they're checking it out I think uh, maybe for an offside but it didn't appear to be no I think it didn't see anything uh, that looked out of the ordinary there so Brady Martin you know, it's almost like one of the, you were expecting this from this game, Gino, you know, just the way the game went overall. Scrambly play, the puck bouncing, sometimes, you know, dangerously by itself with an empty net, staring a player in the face, but he couldn't get his stick to it, and Brady Martin comes in and, you know, takes a shot, and it deflects and flutters over the goaltender. And Martin leads the uh, celebration as the Greyhounds do a lap around the building, but uh, we talked about him a lot. You know, he came out his first shift and dominated the game, and uh, Brady Martin ends it before the Otters knew it hit them, and the Greyhounds start this three-game homestand on a perfect note as they defeat the Erie Otters by a score of 4-3, to three, and a couple of the Otters hanging around their bench not liking the uh, Greyhound celebration. Greyhounds don't care, though. They're just laughing it up about it and celebrating as the Greyhounds defeat the Erie Otters by a score of 4-3. to three. Yourself, the hat-trick hero tonight. Uh, one of your better games this year? Yeah, obviously scoring three goals doesn't happen very often, so yeah, probably one of my better games. Uh, how important was it to start off this homestand with the victory? Yeah, it's good. We needed it, and uh, hopefully we can carry it on to the weekend. I thought uh, I thought Johnny had his team working really hard. Uh, I just thought they uh, they outworked us from the drop of the puck. Um, 
you know, and, and, and they, they, just, they, they just were better at every part of the game than we were, to be honest. Our John's team was real good tonight. Johnny had them well prepared. They worked hard. Uh, he activated his D down the walls, and our winners really struggled with that all night. I mean, we're, we're usually a fast team, but tonight they were a lot faster than us. What have you got with Brady Martin? Oh my God. <laughs> I started doubling him early and, and he forced my hand. And usually when you double a guy in the first period, you cut it short in the second a bit and try to save him for the third. But it was one of those nights where you're not, not putting him on the ice. You know, I'd be a dumb coach, wouldn't I? Yeah. Uh, you know, all I gotta do is put the players on the ice, the best ones out there. And I think Marty was the best player on the ice tonight by far. Uh, obviously scores three, a very special game for him. But if you watch the game, I'm more proud of how dialed he was in details, effort, compete. There was a lot more to his game than just the three goals, which is potentially going to go unnoticed because people like production. But it's a very complete game by Brady Martin. Very, very nice night. We need these guys to be good, and, 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 I, and Marty's been very impressive the last two games. He's got his uh, swagger, clearly confidence is brimming. He's playing a more polished brand of hockey, and it's resulting in some great A opportunities. And I know he's going to tell you guys the same thing, so I feel comfortable telling you that I also think that you know Travis Hayes and him have an unbelievable connection. Uh, they work hard for each other, they, and they go to war for each other on the ice, and they have a, a little bit of a sixth sense with each other. And then you add Justin Kluge into that, who's very similar to both those guys. And uh, I'm sure Marty will tell you that he's really excited about the line mates he's playing with too. But uh, that's not to take away from Marty's special night, but those two guys, are they're doing a great job with him as well. Yeah. Best game we've played all year by far. It's not even close. That's the first game all season where I feel like um, we've established a very clear identity, fast-paced game, hunt pucks, uh, play a half-ice game, uh, compete whistle to whistle, uh, defended hard, created offense. I just super excited with the way we played, um, and you can sense it in the energy in the room. So. You know, we've won some games this year where, quite honestly, we know Shanky and Milsey have bailed us out. And, you know, when we go in the room, the celebration is not the same. When you earn a win, you start to feel that juice a bit. And the juice was in the room tonight because they know that's a, that's a real two points tonight.